Well, if you haven't noticed who I am or don't know who I am, I won't even let you guess. My name is John Hancock. Right. Right. Thank you. And we're going to start right into uh, a... Can you guess who this young gentleman is? Who's my 14-year junior? Go ahead, sir. Samuel Adams? Uh, Close. Short. And James Madison. James Madison. I spend Madison. a lot of time reading, that's why I look like this. <laughs> he stays more indoors, I'm an outdoor type guy. Well, before we do though, I want to tell you a little bit about myself. First of all, does anybody know what my occupation was during the revolutionary time? Yes, sir. Making what? Pots? Okay, kind of, sort of. Anybody else? Say again? Shout it out. Pinsmith. Pinsmith. Yeah, maybe. I dealt with a little bit of everything. I was a merchant. My uncle had a business. And his business would have to deal with ships and transports and we well, didn't have, you know, tractor trailers and highways, right? So most of our trade was done by ships. So that's what my business was in. Actually, my uncle's, I took it over. So I tell you that story because why would that be an important factor of who I am? You know I'm the signer of the Declaration of Independence, correct? Right? Why is my signature so big? Does everybody know why? You and the hat. Go ahead. Because you wanted to make sure King George read it. Very good answer. That's one of the, actually the one I'm known for. The answer was because I wanted to make King George know who I was. There was no surprise the fact that I was a leader against him and I wanted a, his tyranny to end. So I signed the Declaration of Independence large, in the middle. Anybody else want to guess what else, why I signed it so large? Go ahead. Yes, he was. But also because I'm a flamboyant type of guy. And I wanted everybody to know who I was. So I signed my name large. And I did not know for a second. Well, in fact, we didn't have lines in the document either, right? So I signed it in the middle, large, so everybody knew who I was. And everybody else signed it to the right of me. And then it went from right to left, depending on where they were in the, in the actual colonies, northeast all the way down to the coast. So that's how that came about. Now, I mentioned earlier the fact that I was really involved with merchant. I was really involved with... Uh, Commerce, trade, I believed in free trade, I wanted that. Obviously I saw King George, he was not such a uh, proponent of that. Actually I spent some time over in England, it was at King George coronation, and I was there for a while afterwards, and I see how he was actually uh, operating, and how he was actually uh, putting his tyranny effects against the colonies, and I was uh, anti against that. So when I got back to the States, I did everything in my power, all my money, my time, my efforts to fight against the British at every moment. And that's why I believe that my name is so well known that I want everybody to know what I stood for. I wasn't afraid. I was willing to give up everything. Today's standard, I was uh, what you would call like a Jimmy uh, Warren Buffett at the time. I was that rich. I had that much money. And I didn't waste my time on clothing. Well, some of it. <laughs> no wine or food. I actually spent a lot of time with the uh, colonials, working, kind of conceiving ways to uh, disrupt the British uh, way of doing business. Can you uh, relate to that to what I was just talking about? Yeah, I was I was uh, three years old when you graduated from Harvard, <laughs> and uh, I was only 25 when you signed the Declaration. So you're a lot older than I was. Well, a lot wiser too, I'm not. And what did King George think about you? I think he... Uh, I think there was one other person that knew he hated the most. Who was that? And what did he say? Something about offered their heads. If they gave us up, was it John Adams? Samuel. Samuel. I'm sorry. Your brother is what I know. Anyway, I think the, the king basically said, if uh, the Patriots would give us up, turn us in. You and That's right. Myself and Samuel Adams. So we were such a, a pain in this behind that if we would the Patriots would have gave us up, there would have been no basically no revolutionary war. They would have just dropped everything and there would have been no what we have today, basically. So that tells you how much of an influence I was and why I'm such an important figure in history. Now, I hope you uh, retain some of that today. Any other thoughts of uh, what your belief was? Regarding the king, of course. No, I, I, I just, you started the whole thing. I was, I was in my library reading about history and about... But uh, I really didn't participate much in the revolution and the uh, signing of the declaration. You were a big figure in, in that aspect. I was more involved with the writing of the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. 
you were a really flamboyant person, very rich. You were one child. Your father died and your uncle raised you. I was the oldest of 12 children. I grew up in the South. You grew up in New England. So we are very different people. So we're different. Different backgrounds, whole night. But we came together, did we not? It takes all kinds to make things happen. That's very true. And everybody in this, this audience today, uh, there's, different, there's cultures, there's different cultures, there's different uh, levels of life and how we live, and family and size. It didn't matter back then. We all had a common purpose. That common purpose was to live for freedom, for liberty. And we were going to give up everything to get to that point. It didn't matter. And that's the key that you have to look at. How Was it easy? It was not easy. It took many years to struggle. A lot of men lost their fortunes. I was one of the lucky ones. A lot of men lost their fortunes, their homes, their families. They gave up everything. And uh, I would just have to say to you today that it starts at the beginning. It starts with somebody has to light that spark to say, if he can do it, why not me? It takes one person. You don't have to be afraid to argue, to disagree. We all disagree. Do we always agree on matters of functionality? No. I don't think I even liked you for a while. <laughs> well, now we're getting to that point. Well, we, have, we have a friend here that's going to do some flags and symbols. Oh, is he ready for that? I'm ready for that. All right, well, thank you for your time. You have one question? Go ahead, sir. On Tuesday. Uh, I was born in 1737. In Boston, Massachusetts. Thank you.